Yes. Uh, moving right along, we got to talk about R. Kelly. Give y'all this trial update real quick. It ain't much that is really surprising to me, but we, we gonna talk about it anyway. So, R. Kelly's ass has been on trial. He's doing his best to get out of these charges because he's facing between 10 years and life. And that's a big ass gap. But, you know, R. Kelly, I still don't believe they ever going to let you out. But anyway, I'm going to take you guys through a few key points of, uh, of of the trial and what's been going on. Number one, his personal physician took the stage and admitted that uh, R. Kelly has had general herpes since at least 2007. It's been confirmed. The hurt, the hurt, hurt, the bump, bumps have been confirmed on Robert since 2007. We're in 2021. So just imagine how much he has spread that shit in just that amount of time. Now, the doctor also said, even though I can only trace back the herpes to 2007, Robert actually started having the symptoms of genital herpes back in 2001. So it's likely that he didn't test positive until 2007. He wasn't really going, he wasn't really testing for herpes like that anyway. He wasn't really tripping off of it. But I'm just letting y'all know that everything I told y'all about this industry reigns true. So let's let 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 me give you a couple storm facts, all right? Because I said, y'all say storm, you be tripping. You so crazy. And then the shit come out later, right? Number one, 90% of Hollywood, the industry in general, has general herpes. Why? Because they all sleep with one another. It spreads like wildfire. They take their medicine and they keep it moving, all right? When you watch porn, all right, 95% of all porn stars have genital herpes. I'm sorry to mess up your fantasy about your favorite star, your favorite whatever. Oh, I would love to do him, do that. He probably, he, yes, he has it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, baby. They take their medicine, they keep it moving. Number two, they don't even really test for it like that. Number three, even when you have an outbreak, they still let you film. That's why sometimes when you look at porn, you be looking at the girl ass, you be like, damn. Saw them rip. Oh, shit. You be like, oh, damn. I mean, she be full, like, full on having an outbreak and she still got to work because she on the contract. And they don't trip off of it because general herpes is literally a skin condition. So some blisters, they don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm sorry to ruin the fantasy, but y'all know Storm got to keep it real with y'all. That's that's what it is. You go into that industry, then that is considered an occupational hazard. Do you understand? Same thing with Hollywood. They all bending each other over, sucking each other off, doing every, doing this, doing that. It's pretty much an occupational hazard at this point. It is what it is. So, um, <clears throat> R. Kelly was instructed to take Valtrex, which would have pretty much prevented him from passing it on to partners, but he really didn't want to do it. He took it when he felt like it instead of taking it every day like he should have to um, prevent the asymptomatic shedding and shit. But anyway, uh, then we got Geronda Pace. So yeah, this man been itching and burning since 2001. <laughs> hey, Ursher. So then we got Geronda Pace. Now I'm going to need her to... Uh, oh, I don't like that wig. Anyway, but congratulations to Geronda Pace. Uh, she's uh, actually about to give birth to her child at any time, uh, any day now. But anyway, she came around to R. Kelly's house when she was actually 16 years old. Now, if y'all remember Geronda's story, Geronda's story is that she actually followed his trial and she stalked him a little bit and he, he brought her back to the house and he told her, you know, you're going to take your clothes off for daddy and strut up and down for me. And she was uncomfortable, but she did it. And, you know, before she knew it, they, they screwed, they did their thing. And she had lied and said she was 19. Then after they had sex, she told him that she was 16. And he like, that's all you had to tell daddy? You 16? Daddy can't read and daddy can't count all that good. Now suck off daddy like daddy told you to. This was a sick nigga here. The sickest thing I think I'd actually heard out of this whole case with R. Kelly is that he is that when one of the girls confronted him about giving her herpes or some other STD that he gave her, he said, don't you love daddy? Then you love whatever daddy give you. Daddy, we don't love that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. So anyway, um... After he actually infected uh, Geronda with, with, with the herpes, all he did was brought a doctor to the house, gave us some medicine, and pretty much told her, you're going to take whatever daddy give you. But the interesting part of their sex capades is that when they would do it, he would always want Geronda to dress up like a Girl Scout, put her hair in pigtails. So he wanted her to be his little Girl Scout. 
with pigtails. This shit is nasty as hell. And he would get off on doing her, peeing on her, all kinds of stuff. He screwed dudes in front of her. It was it was it was just a nasty free coke uh uh, uh kind of house. Actually, sex trafficking. That's exactly what this is. But you guys should know. I don't know if you care, but uh, Geronda, uh, between her media appearances and I think they said she wrote a book too. She has made between twenty five to one hundred thousand dollars. But as far as I'm concerned, her piece is forever, so I don't mind her uh, making her cash and doing what she got to do. So that's that's pretty much the updates of R. Kelly's trial right now. He's been spreading shit since. Oh hell, I forgot this part of the story. Hold up, I forgot this part of the story. Wait a minute, they confirmed this in the trial too. So Demetrius Smith who was a former manager of R. Kelly admitted on trial in in um uh but, but he said to deal with the prosecutors so that he wouldn't be prosecuted okay so he has immunity and he admitted that when uh, Alia was 15 I believe he paid five hundred dollars for her to get a fake ID so that she and Robert could go up to Canada and get married because she was actually pregnant so he's saying she was pregnant some people say she wasn't some people say she was I believe she was there's a conspiracy theory that she did actually deliver the baby and that's why you know after her relationship with Robert anytime she did a midriff it was always all the way up here to hide the scars of the baby I don't know if all that shit is true that that is truly a deep deep conspiracy theory but what i will tell you is this man definitely got this girl pregnant he wanted her and um everybody around her in my opinion sold her because here's the thing i don't give a damn who you are and what you do for a living you're not hanging out with my teenage child you're not hanging out with my kid my child is not coming to the studio with you she's not traveling with you she's not going overseas with you she's not doing none of that with you so at the end of the day alia just like many child stars at that time were sold and i don't know why we are not holding their parents and their families accountable like we should that's just my honest opinion Period. I don't care who you are. You be Michael Jackson, you be Barack Obama. My child is a child. My child's not going off with you. And I'm trying to figure out why nobody found it weird that this man always wanted to hang around with children. Why And why are we not prosecuting the parent? Okay, I'm not going to go there. I, I'm not going to go there. But what I will say is, allegedly, yes, she was pregnant. And the manager paid $500 so she could get a fake ID so she could marry him. That's how much that girl's innocence was worth to y'all. $500.